Singapore is a small island smack right in the middle of Southeast Asia and it is filled with treasures. What treasures, you ask? Well, let me show you. I am BioGood MJ. Today, we are at one of Singapore's coral reefs to find some hidden treasures, our marine wildlife. You might have heard of coral reefs in other countries, such as the Great Barrier Reef in Australia, but did you know that Singapore has our very own coral reefs? Today, we are visiting one of our offshore islands, Pulau Hantu, that boasts a beautiful coral reef ecosystem. It is currently still dark right now because it is the early morning, but this means we have time to walk to the coral site. In the tidal zone! We are not quite at the coral reef yet, but I want to show you this little guy here. It is a strawberry slug, but also fondly known as Sean the Sheep Slug because it looks like a little grazing sheep. This particular area of Pula Hantu boasts a variety of corals of different shapes and sizes. Let's do some coral hunting. Not literally, of course. Can you see all these rock-like structures? All of them are corals and they are alive. Most of the time, these corals are hidden from view in the waters, but during the low tide, the water clears up, revealing the reefs underneath. A lot of the corals in Singapore might not be as vibrant or as brightly coloured as the ones you might see in other countries, but they are no less interesting to learn about. Come, follow me! This coral right here is a boulder-shaped coral. This boulder-shaped coral has a maze-like pattern and every single unit here is called a coral light, which contains one animal. So essentially, this entire coral is a colony of animals. These corals look like a big, big brain. It is the brain coral. As compared to the previous coral, the brain coral has thicker walls and very obvious protrusions that give it the brain-like look. I found a beautiful flatworm moving! Look at that! Marine flatworms, unlike the parasitic flatworms that the name is associated with, do not parasitize other animals and they hunt their own food. They can eat sponges, small crustaceans, other worms and mollusks which are easily found in coral reefs. Marine flatworms also come in many shapes and sizes and some can even grow as big as my face. Can you guys spot a crab hiding here? There! It is right here! This is the hairy crab, also known as the teddy bear crab because it looks very fluffy and fluffy and this allows it to camouflage against the coral background. This is a huge sea cucumber! Look at that! This sea cucumber is almost as big as my hand! This giant plate here is also a coral! Sometimes, they can even form smaller plates above them just like the tears of a wedding cake. These branching corals kind of look like mini trees in the ocean. The branches can be thicker or thinner depending on the species. There is an Acropora goby fish in the middle of the coral. And that's normal, they actually live within the coral. Since hard corals are built to withstand strong currents, they become the perfect home for many animals. Like this red egg crab! Red egg crabs are crabs that look cooked but don't let its delicious looking coloration fool you. This crab is highly poisonous because of the harmful toxins in their body. This flat stone right here is also a living coral known as the mushroom coral. You can find circular ones and also flat ones like this. Unlike other corals, the adult mushroom corals are free living, meaning that it is not attached to any surface. Corals may look lifeless out of the water, but when they are submerged in the water, tentacles called polyps will extend out from each unit. Look at this coral right here! Out of the water, they look bare and lifeless, but when they are in the water, the polyps emerge out. Can you see this mucus forming all over the coral? Well, that's normal because some corals produce mucus to act as a layer of protection to prevent the corals from drying out when it's low tide. In some species, the mucus actually help to gather food particles in the water. Believe it or not, these patches here are also corals. They are a type of encrusting coral because they form a plate over the surface they are stuck on. It's a red feather star! Feather stars are not the same as sea stars. They are a group of animals of their own. 
feather stars have long, feathery arms that they use to move in the water and also filter feed for food. Feather stars come in many different colours and number of arms. They can even crawl on dry land for a little bit during low tide to get back into the water. This piece of soft, squishy looking thing is a coral too. Yes, corals can be soft. Unlike the previous hard corals that we discovered, this coral belongs to a group known as the soft corals. Hard corals build hard, concrete structures that eventually become a coral reef, while soft corals do not build such structures. But they are still amazing in their own way. This is another piece of soft coral. And just like the hard corals, when the soft coral is emerged in the water, the polyps stick out. I found one of my favourite creatures on the planet, the nudibranch, aka sea slugs. Look at it moving! I love how cute they are! These two little horns on its head are its rhinophores. They use these to sense things in the water. This is a yellow nudibranch known as the cheesecake nudibranch. You can actually see the feathery gills on its back and that's how they take in dissolved oxygen in the water. Nudibranch means naked gills. And they are named as such because of the exposed gills you usually see on them. Some nudibranchs can have very majestic gills, while others, such as the pimply fitted nudibranch chilling on the sand here, have their gills hidden under the mental skirt. Nudibranchs are known for having a wide range of colours and patterns. Some to help them camouflage, like the huge Platydoris nudibranch, others as warning signs to tell potential predators that they are poisonous, like the cow nudibranch, Hypsilodoris nudibranch, blue dragon nudibranch, and the reliable nudibranch amongst others. Look at that! The worm eel is darting around! These worm eels use their long, slender bodies to manoeuvre around the shoreline here, darting in and out of holes on the shore to hunt for their prey. They are a really common sight around here. Ah! The wave is coming back in! This is not a soft coral, but a giant carpet anemone. Although anemones look kind of like corals, they can have stinging cells in their tentacles. Some of them really look like soft coral. Look at this fire anemone here. It can easily be mistaken for a flowery soft coral. You can usually find sea anemones within the coral reef ecosystem, and if you are really lucky, you can find clown anemone fishes swimming amongst the tentacles. Like there! Right there! Can you see it picking in and out? The clown fishes don't get stung because they have a layer of mucus on their body that protects them against the stings. This lets them hide in the anemone and ensure that their predators wouldn't be able to disturb them. Oh no, it looks like this coral is bleaching. Can you see the white parts above? That's usually not a good sign. As you have seen previously, corals have colour and that is thanks to this algae body called zooxanthellae that lives inside of them. The zooxanthellae makes the main source of food for the coral via photosynthesis, just like how plants make their own food. And in return, it gets to live within the coral structure. However, when global temperatures rise due to climate change, the corals are stressed out and what they do is to kick out the algae body. There's a mosquito over there! Can you see it's resting on the rock? There! There! It must skip away to... Oh! 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 Point! 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 Oh! It's right there! Look! There's an octopus swimming around! Octopuses are masters of camouflage, so they can easily change their body colour and texture to mimic that of the coral surface. <gasps> it touched my feet! As the water rises, we had to start retreating away from the big patches of coral reefs, but we did spot something in the water as well. This bobbing thing here is the upside down jellyfish. Just as its name suggests, it likes to swim upside down because its tentacles contain an algae body that can trap light and make food via photosynthesis. It's a huge cuttlefish! <laughs> Hello! Cuttlefish are really amazing creatures. They can change their colours and texture to camouflage themselves to avoid predators. Wow! We have seen so many spectacular marine creatures living in this amazing coral reef ecosystem of Pulau Hantu. This is a really unique place that cannot be found anywhere on mainland Singapore.
Well kids, as our exciting journey comes to an end, let's take a moment to cherish the precious treasures we've discovered today. Our incredible wildlife, from the ones with eight arms to the ones with no arms, from the ones that crawl around to the ones that swim, these animals are part of a huge ecosystem in nature. Together, they form a colourful world that would otherwise be pretty boring. Remember to do our part and take care of nature so that we can continue to enjoy all these treasures around us. That is all for today's episode of Wildlife Treasure Hunt. Join me next time for more adventures. Bye-bye! <laughs>